what is up? Welcome. Hello, Ronan. This is a great time. Please come here. I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. I just need to pack my stuff, okay. get my bottle of water, and we'll be ready to go. You want to come along? Perfect. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Are you mm -hmm. the last one in the office? Yeah, just closing my things. Can you believe that this is like 9.30 p.m. in Estonia right now? If you look outside, it looks like... Three or five because the sun is still up. Okay. And but yeah, and right now I'm the last one, just closing my things. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna get some water. Do you want a snack? Yeah, sure. High carb or low carb? Low carb. There you go. <laughs> thank get you very some. much. This is the access card to the gym. You're gonna need one too. So mm. here you go. Okay, thank you. Get some water. Perfect. Well, in the meantime, we can get started. Let's do it. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, how excited are you about this interview? 11! <laughs> okay, that's a good warm-up. Alright, so, describe yourself in three words. Um, curious, relentless, and random. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Why do you do what you do? Mm, I think that all of these things about there's so much wonder that I have in the human body, living inside of human body and helping people express the, the best of their abilities, that is inevitable. So I think I found my second nature. <laughs> what are you most proud of? I am most proud of developing a relationship with myself and my body that is, that is based on harmony and is based on self-acceptance. Okay. If you had a superpower, what would it be? I would love um, to speak, communicate without words, with thoughts. Ooh, that'd be cool. <laughs> what is the most common misconception you hear about fasting? I hear that fasting is hard, that fasting is a miserable experience, when it's actually something very easy, very, very flexible and very pleasurable thing to do. Hmm. What would you tell someone who wants to live a healthier lifestyle, but is on the fence of doing the work? I think that you need to find something that fits your lifestyle. You know, get a, a little habit that is small and easy to do, that makes sense to you at the moment, and just plant that as a seed. Don't start with big goals, with big practices. Start with something small and then let that thing grow on its own. All right, we're here already? Yeah, just downstairs from the office, like, how convenient can that be? That is so convenient. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Welcome to the gym. Thank you very much. Thank you. And some sanitizer. Oh yeah, for sure. No bacteria. Oh, no virus. Yes, training. Let's wait for this. Get it closer. Should I? You need to use a bit of oh, your yeah, mind. That's, that's you need okay. to use the intention, so that thing can come out. <laughs> You know, I think I gave you the access card, but I forgot mine. Can you yeah, sure. I got borrow it. yours? I do have it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pop as an OG. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. I hope we don't get in trouble with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Latin American. We're used to that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what would you tell uh, your younger 10-year-old self? I would say... You know, the, you, you, you're facing a hard time by living inside of your body now because you get jokes and no slaps on your head because of that. But don't abandon it. Work with it. Keep going on that health and fitness stuff because one day you're going to find a bigger purpose to it. Nice. What is one thing on the top of your bucket list? Ooh, learn how to do a backflip. For sure. <laughs> Nice. That's in mind too. Yeah, this year. Summer this year. You got it. Nice. Okay, if you could trade lives with anyone for one day, who would it be and why? Sweet. My goodness, I just think how it would be to live inside that mind and that body in, in such a dynamic that makes you know, health and fitness a whole philosophy, spiritual practice. I would love to know. Plus, like the, the whole speed and, and ninja stuff that he, he did, I could yeah, just, I want to do this for five minutes just to see what it feels like. Alright. 
So, what is the one thing everyone should do to start living a healthier lifestyle? Okay. I think you should. Um, you should first develop a vision of what you you want your body and your health to be like before you start training, before you change your nutrition, before you know why you're doing things. Decide what is the relationship that you want to have with your body. And depending on that, this will give basis to what type of strategies you're going to use from then onwards. Alright. What is your favorite movie? Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and, but it's super close with uh, Matrix for sure. Oh, Matrix. That's also really good. Yep, you're good. There you go. <laughs> Not strong um, anymore. What is your favorite band? Guns N' Roses. My, since I'm a little kid, I listened to that. My, my dad had cassette tapes of Guns N' Roses. <laughs> I, I played guitar, I wanted to be like Slash. From the, yeah, for sure, my number one. What about a favorite book? Your It by Alan Watts. Incredibly mind blowing. <laughs> what is the coolest place you've ever been? I don't know if that's the coolest. But I think it's the dearest to me, and uh, it's Paraguay. Such a beautiful country, such a rich culture, and people make you feel like you're home. Doesn't matter where you're coming from. Nice. What is the best advice you ever got? Don't don't worry about what's broken. We can fix it. My dad always used to say it to me, and it makes it, it makes it so true. You know, the, the worst problem that you can face is not that bad. Okay. <laughs> so this is Estonian. I think they're closing. <laughs> I think they are asking. You know, guys, shut up and start training. <laughs> I think uh, they're gonna close soon, but that shouldn't be a problem for you, right? No, I. Uh, my train takes 15 minutes, so it's all good. Cool, cool. cool. All right, so um, what is the topic that is really important to you? It's, it's still connected to health and fitness, but the, the human experience within it. You know, what is, what is, is the whole idea of being in harmony, in being in self-acceptance, being in self-care, being in self-love, is, is the idea of dealing with yourself as if you were the person who you love the most. Nice. All right, are you ready for the last one? Do this barn ready. It's a tough one. Mm. <laughs> I like it. Do you like pineapple and pizza? Ooh! <laughs> you know that in Brazil we did it worse. Well, not only pineapple, you put a layer of white chocolate, a layer of dark chocolate, a, la a piece of strawberry, and then a ball of ice cream on top. Oh it's been a while that I don't have pizza because it now gets my stomach all bloated, but when I did, it was my favorite. <laughs> Sorry for all the Italians, for all the offense, but it's pretty good stuff. <laughs> Amazing. I, I think with that, we're good to wrap up and let you go. Fantastic. Let's get started. Thank you very much. Thank